A basketball player misses 10 shots, then 20, then 26. You think he's got to make the next one. That's called the gambler's fallacy. The belief that after a long streak, the odds must even out or something. We see it everywhere. At the roulette table, after 10 reds in a row, people bet on black. After six coin flips landing heads, they think tails is now more likely. But mathematically, the odds haven't changed. Every spin, every flip, every shot is still independent. But here's where it gets interesting. If what you really mean is that 27 shots missed in a row is less probable than 26 shots missed in a row, then you're not wrong at all. You're just answering a different question. Instead of assuming the next trial is more likely, you're simply evaluating the entire sequence of outcomes. So the gambler's fallacy, an intuition that many people in fact share, isn't always a fallacy. It's just sometimes a misunderstanding of what kind of probability we're referring to in the first place.